We've made it. We're at Tuttle Lane. Brister Spring belonged to a free man named Brister who had a little homestead in the vicinity. And that's where he'd get his water. Conquered like Andover and a number of other towns was a significant supporter of the abolitionist movement. So this is probably Tuttle Lane. And you can see it's an old, another old cart path. This way heads all the way towards the east, kinda. And we're following the sound of the wheels. It's like following the sound of the guns. And this is how we got to here. And it goes all the way to Newburyport. Eventually, this will go all the way south. And there off in the distance, we see the little white bay circuit blaze. Well, that's the way we came from. Heading north. This is a little side trail. And here we are arriving at a trailhead and a little parking lot. There's the Bay Circuit Blaze, letting you know that a turn is in the works. And a brand new kiosk. Good heavens, it's so new. It doesn't even have anything on it yet. Here's Walden Street. and other guys. And it looks, wow, this parking lot is brand new. Jeez, it's even got handicap parking. Wow. It's, it's so new, it, it probably isn't even on the map. And the trail is being routed this way. Must have found a more congenial way to get into Walden. Jeez, this is all noteworthy. So yeah, we got a nice brand spanking new blaze to indicate the turn here at the parking lot towards the north and Concord Center on the trail I just followed. And this looks like a new thing that is probably an effort to remedy putting ever more of the trail off of the street. This is a major concern I discover in my periodic conversations with friends who are more apprised of Bay Circuit plans than I am. So cool, this sort of gets you off of Walden Street. It runs you down this way. A little turn over here. Looks like we're going into a quasi grassy meadow thing. Probably a better spot for trying to cross uber busy and mildly terrifying Route 2. Probably the equivalent in suburban hiking to a class three rapid. Ah, and here's another kind of older legacy parking lot of some kind. Access road. Oh, it must be for horses, I bet. No recreational vehicles. Wasn't planning on it. It's a restoration area. So stay 
on the path. So I see this is uh, Brister Freeman, slave of Squire Cummings, who once there where glory, where grew still the apple trees, which Brister plant, planted and tended. Oh, so Henry evidently observed Brister's apple trees back in the day. So old Brister has, had been in this neighborhood for a while. So this is part of Walden Woods. Evidently, some archeological research is underway. And this is how we get across terrifying Route 2 and make our way to Walden, or Walden Woods Gizmo. Brister's Hill. Oh my god, I wonder if, uh, what's his name from the Eagles paid for this thing? <laughs> Don Henley. <laughs> Jeez. Oh uh, yeah, this kind of looks like a Don Henley level of importance. I wish to speak a word for nature. Uh, okay, so this is Henry's path on Brister's Hill. Most influential writer, famous grouch, blah, blah, blah. We'll spare you the Henry Jabber. I'm sure he would have hated it if he was alive. But there's the friendly base circuit marker. And here we are at the not so friendly intersection of 116, I believe, or 127, Walden Street anyway, and 2A. And the base circuit blaze on that power pole is suggesting we head this way. And so we shall.